Hey guys, happy Friday. So um, today we're going to learn something new, uh, still statistics, right? Still working with data. Uh, but today we're going to talk about box and whisker. So make sure you guys set up your notes. You guys know how this works. Um, set up your notes, write that title down. Um, I'll go through an example. You'll do one. And then, of course, we'll do the last one together and you have a class activity at the end. All right. So it's just like I was normally here. Um, whenever you're ready, hit that next slide. So what is a box and whiskers graph? So again, this is a type of graph that is used to show the shape of the distribution, kind of how spread out your data is, where is it centrally located. So again, it also tells us the central value. It tries to find that middle, where is the kind of the big cluster of data. Um, and then the variability. So again, how dispersed is it out? Um, is there any differences within the data? All right. Now, again, of course, what does it look like? Well, today we're going to talk about how to create it. What should I be graphing how do i graph one of those um so here is what we have and this is what we call a box and whiskers plot so again our graph um the middle you can see that we have a box we actually have two little boxes that create one giant one of course and your whiskers the little lines that go out to the side now the main thing um one thing that i want you guys to notice is yes this is sitting on top of a number line okay uh so things to talk about what i can do is if you want to see kind of there, there's five main things going on here that a box and whiskers requires uh number one you, well, of course, you're going to have a set of data, right? A list of numbers. And the minimum, of course, is going to be represented by the bottom line over here. The max is going to be represented by the, by the top. So whatever minimum value you had, the max value, the max value you had, excuse me, is going to be sitting down here and up above, depending on each. Now, the other one is the median. Well, how do I calculate the median? We know that I have to put my numbers in order, and I have to find the middle. All right, once they're in order, that is the median. That is represented by that middle line right here in my box. Now, the two awkward ones that we don't we haven't talked about yet is called the lower quartile or, or quartile one. Also, sometimes we call this Q1. And then the upper quartile or the third quartile, which we call Q3. So these are the five components that we're going to need in order to create a box and whisker. So you have a list of numbers. You're going to need to put them in order. You're going to find the minimum. You're going to find the maximum. And then you're going to find the median. Okay, and then from there, that leads us on to what the heck is the lower quartile or the Q1. Well, when you have your list of data, remember, if you split it up in the middle, Q1 is the middle of that lower half. So whatever numbers I have on the left, when I find the middle, when I break my data in half, I need to find now the middle of that piece, and that's going to give me Q1. Well, how do I get Q3? Once I find the middle again, if I take a look at the upper part, the top part of, or the top half, I want to find the middle of the upper half, and we'll see what that looks like in a second. Now, why do we want to create this? Again, we'll get into that more next week, uh, but essentially, when you're creating a box and whisker spot, what you're doing is you're breaking up your data so that there's four pieces this is one piece right here, which holds 25% of the data. This is another piece here, which holds another 25% of the data. This is another piece here, which holds 25% of the, of the data. And of course, the last leg up here, which also holds 25% of the data. And you can make, um, you can interpret the graph easy. And you can kind of uh, get a lot out of it. Uh, so here, for example, we have players weight in pounds so i know i can kind of right away see that hey, you know the, the heaviest guy on here is probably sitting somewhere up here at like 310 pounds and i can immediately see that the the smallest guy is probably sitting over here at like 160 or 170. now if you take a look at it well the middle okay it's right here somewhere between 250 and 2 uh, 200, which is probably somewhere, let's say, 230. So again, most of the guys, you can see, if this is 25% of my data, most of the guys are actually stuck between 230 and 250. So there's a big chunk of guys that are sitting in between there, as opposed to, well, from, if I take a look at this right here, this is probably sitting at like 240. Okay, 240 all the way to 310. All right, that's a pretty big gap. So there's probably a few guys kind of scattered in here in between. All right, but we see a big cluster of guys in between 230 and 240. And again, don't stress about that right now. We're going to talk about how to interpret and what it all actually means. The purpose of today is being able to graph and create this. So let's move on to the next slide here. Okay, so example one, what I want you guys to do is I want you to write down the list of numbers. Now be very, 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 very careful. All right. Um, so again, we have four, five, five, six, nine, ten, 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 eleven, fifteen, twenty. Now, the very first thing we are going to have to do is make sure that they are in order. If I want to create a box and whisker plot, they have to. They have to be in order. Okay. Now, once we have that, I was nice enough to give that to you guys. 
I'm going to find, I need to find all five pieces here. Now, the minimum is pretty easy. What's the smallest number we have? Well, that is a four. So again, put min, that's my four. All right, let's move on to the next easiest. Well, what's the max, guys? What's the biggest number we have here? Of course, that's going to be 20. Okay, now the next thing you want to find is the second quartile. In other words, this is also called the median. All right, it's a fancy way to say median. So again, I need to find the middle. So how do I do that? Well, I start crossing off the sides like in my middle. Now, I, I hate crossing off the numbers because it, sometimes it comes very, very hard to see. So I like to put a little check marks up top. There goes one, there goes one, two, two on each side, three on each side, four on each side, five on each side. Hey, and I found it. My median is going to be 10. So the middle of this data is sitting at 10. Okay, now how do we get quartile 1 and quartile 3? Well, quartile 1, notice 10 was my middle, so I'm going to draw a line right down the middle. So here we go, I'm going to cover it. We don't need that 10 anymore. So there's the middle. Notice I'm left with these numbers on the bottom. Quartile 1 is the middle of these bottom numbers. So let me go through now and cross them off again. So there goes 1, there goes 1, there goes 1, there goes 1. So what is the middle? What is the median of the bottom? It's going to be 5. That is what creates quartile one, it's kind of like you're folding your paper in half, and then you're folding in the bottom half again, and then same thing for the top up here. So again, let's go ahead and find the middle now of the top, or the third quartile. So let me cross that off, cross that off, cross that off, cross that off. I found out that 11 is my third quartile. All right, so what I want you guys to do is notice my, my data ranges from four all the way up to 20. So it's nice if you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 20. So that's not too bad, right? That number line, you kind of have to gauge yourself. Okay, so go ahead, draw your number line. Okay, and this is the way that we do it. So I'm gonna start wherever, all of my specific ones here, my min, my first, my Q1, my Q2, or my median, my Q3, and my max. What I want to do is I'm going to draw these little vertical lines right on top to kind of designate where they go. So for my minimum, I'm going to draw a little vertical line right on top. That's going to be kind of the bottom end of that whisker. Okay, the next one I'm going to do is 5. So let me, here we go, 5. Okay, the next one was 10, so right up above 10. Okay, next one is 11, so here we go, right on top of 11, and the last one is going to be 20, so all the way out here. All right, so I have all the pieces that I need. Now, of course, I have to create that box and those whiskers. Well, the whiskers are on the ends, so just extend your line. That is a top whisker. This is my lower whisker, and let me just create that box in the middle. There we go. That's it. That's how we create a box in a whisker spot. Now, again, what's the purpose of all this, guys? Every little piece here, this the first piece has 25% of the data. This has 25% of the data. This has 25% of the data. And this long piece over here also has 25% of my data. I broke up my data into four pieces, each holding 25% of the information. Again, we'll talk about how to interpret it. Um, all right. What I want you guys to do is I want you guys to try example two for me. All right. So write those numbers down. Three, three, four, five, six, 10, 10, 10, 11, 15, and 20. All right. First of all, they're all in order. So get to it. Find the min. Find Q1. Find your median. Again, Q2 is just your median. Find Q3 and your max. All right. And plot that on the on a number line. Create that box and whiskers. All right. When you're ready. Okay. So I actually pause the video here. When you're ready, um, hit go and you'll see if you got the right answer. All right, here we go. So let's, let's go through this pretty quickly. So again, my min, I know that is sitting at three. Okay. My max number, I know that is all the way up here to 20. Okay. Now to find my median, again, I don't want to cross it off right away. So I leave room. So there goes one up top, one at the bottom, one bottom, top, bottom. All right. Careful here. Four, four, five, five. And I end up with 10 sitting right smack in the middle there. So again, 10 is going to be my median, or in other words, my Q2 or my second quartile. All right, so that is 10. Now again, if 10 was the value I used, that is no longer there. I'm breaking up my data to see the bottom half. That's going to give me my Q1. So let me now find the, the middle of the bottom half. So here we go. Let's cross off this side, this side, this side, this side. Hey, I ended up with four. Four is the middle of the bottom half. So here's my Q1. Same thing for the top. Let me cross off 10, 20, 10, 15, 11 is my third quartile or Q3. All right, sweet. So let's go through this. Um, notice again, the numbers are pretty fair. One, one through 20 should be enough, guys. Uh, so again, I'm going to draw a vertical line here on top of three. Let's be the beginning of my whisker. Uh, 
first quartile is going to start at 4. Uh, the median was at 10. Third quartile was at 11. And then, of course, the max was at 20. All right, so again, my whiskers are here at the end. And I create my box in the middle. And there we have it, guys. That is my box in whiskers plot. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, last one here. So, Okay, so you, sorry. Uh, you notice that number one, I do not give you the number line, so we're going to have to create that, right? It's like, how, how the heck, what, what number should I use? Um, the nice thing is, are these in order? 18, 27, 34, yes, 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 yep, perfect. Okay, I was nice enough this time to give you guys these numbers in order. Again, will I always be that nice? No, just keep that in mind. Always put them in order. Um, let's go ahead and find my five pieces of information. So my minimum, that's sitting here at 8. My maximum is sitting at a hundred. Again, it's nice if I actually had, would have had these all straight lined up, uh, but it's okay. We'll do the best we can here. Um, all right, second quartile, or in other words, your median. Let's go and find the middle. Now, again, okay, across one off, one off down here. Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Fifty-nine. I have to jump up to 85, 61, 82. Whoa, 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 whoa. I ended up with two numbers in the middle. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What do I do when there's two numbers for my median? Okay, don't forget, this is the awkward situation where you have to find the average. In other words, you have to add them together. Okay, 68 plus 78. Let me use my calculator here. When I add these guys together, these give me, divide by 2 in a second, 146. 146 divided by 2 is going to give me 73. So I know that 73 is my Q2, or my second quartile. All right, that's fine. Now here's how we're going to break this up. 73 is landing in between 68 and 78. So I'm no longer you know, going to cross 78 and 68 out. I'm actually going to cross right here smack in the middle. That's where 73 should go. So again, I'm not going to get rid of 78 or 68 this time. Right? I'm still going to use them um, as part of my values. All right, so let's go through and find uh, Q1. So here's my bottom half. Let me cross off 18. Let me cross off 68. 27 gone. 61 gone. 34 is gone. 59 is gone. Eight. 52 is my Q1. Do the same thing with the top. 78 is gone. 100 is gone, 82 is gone, 93 is gone, 85 is gone, 91 is gone, hey, 87 is my third quartile. Now these numbers, guys, are ranging from um, all the way from 18 all the way to 100. So would it make sense to go by ones when I do my number line? No, 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 no. Okay, my number line here is going to go, probably most appropriate would be tens. I'm going to go with tens. So we go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's go up to 110. Why not? Okay, so there we have it. Again, you're going to have to gauge that depending. Should I go by 1s, by 2s, by 3s, by 5s, by 10s? All right. So let's go ahead and finish this off. 18, I'm going to get, this is going to be a rough estimate. Um, 18 is between 10 and 20, closer to 20. So I do want to put it closer to 20. All right. My Q1 is going to be at 52. It's right after 50, not cl closer to 50, not closer to 60. My median or my Q2 is 73, which is closer to 70. 87 is closer to 90, so right here. And again, these are just rough estimates. I'm not looking for anything exact, guys, um, except for the maximum. Well, this one should be landing directly on top of 100. Okay, so here we go. I have my five pieces of information. Let me throw, draw my whiskers on the ends here. And we have our box in the center. Now, again, this is the objective for today, guys. Can you graph a box in whiskers? All right, so what I want you guys to do, um, here's your assignment. Do this on a separate sheet of paper. When you are done, please turn it in. Now, be careful. Notice number one, we're still going back to mean, mode, median, and range. I do want you to find that information for the first data set here. Now, for numbers two and number three, you are creating a box in whiskers plot. Notice for number two, I think they're in order. Was I nice enough? Yes, they're all in order. Now, for number three, am I am I nice enough to put them in order? Nah, it's all scrambled. So your job on number three is going to have to be first fix them all up. All right. So guys, there you have it. Um, I will see you next. Ne blah blah blah. I will see you guys next week. Have a great day.